Hi, my name is Tim and I want to show you today how you come from this to this. Here's a look I created. Let's say it's finished so far, but I'm not happy with it. Let's say I would be happy if I could get more vibrance in the colors. Until now I've just added a common LUT at the end point of my grading. And only just to be clear and clean, I just reset this point on the curve. On top you can see the color correction notes and a bit of the grade I've done so far. And just to be demonstrate, I added a note on the last with a false color uh, plugin. And you can see it's a very good exposed shot, but uh, very contrastly, as I mentioned before. And you can see the luminosity, but if we switch to the saturation, you can always recognize it's uh, not oversaturated uh, in the saturation one and it is on two, uh, you can recognize it too. Here is a bit of oversaturation. Here we are near the red ones. The red ones, you know, in the scale is uh, what me tell, what me tells uh, here is oversaturation. But now let's start and at first we just add a serial note and uh, just to demonstrate how you can do it uh, directly in DaVinci to push up the saturation. We use the bars, push it all up and you see very vibrant colors, but with one drawback. What we've done already now, it's just to increase the color contrast and that pushes the curve, the parades, uh, until the limits and the heights. And if you switch to the vectorscope, you can see it too. Uh, you are touching the border of your scope. And that is not what we want because it's like oversaturation in any terms. And just to show you how you could fix it directly in DaVinci, you set the qualifier uh, only for the lows and uh, try to to keep it uh, just on the lows to get there the color vibrance that we want because we want it in the highs and in the lows in the mid we will try to leave it untouched because of the skin tones but if you look and switch back uh, on off on off as you can see there's no great effect on it and it's by far not enough that I want. Okay, so let's reset this note and I show you my new way to get the colors pop out. But uh, uh, just before, I want to show you we are currently at a very well, uh, good exposed and well saturated image. Uh, this one is our only problem we have. Okay. So let's turn this last note off and uh, now we are ready to jump in. Uh, first step is to grab a still of your footage and uh, export it as a uh, TIFF, as an image. Um, name it as you like and we just needed to work with it further uh, in Photoshop. So just save it, uh, name it as you like and then uh, open it in Photoshop. First thing you have to be aware of is to keep this image as a background image. And please forgive me uh, just for the German version of Photoshop, I just use it. Uh, but I think it, uh, you, can, you can follow me along the path. As a first step, we just add a hue saturation layer and uh, don't uh, adjust anything, just edit and all the settings we leave untouched. And the only thing we want to do is to switch to the blend mode color burn. And you see it looks horrible. But if you decrease the fill, you can see how good it works. Here is a before and here is a after. But I recommend, I highly recommend, don't go too far. Don't just play very subtle with this slides of the fill and choose a very, very low value and just put on after before to 
look how it works for you. The second step is to add another layer, the same, but this time we choose the color dodge as a blend mode. And just like before, decrease the fill uh, until you reach the value which one you are satisfied. And yeah, turn on, turn off. And you can see it's very, very popping out and uh, show us more details too. But you must absolutely note that it works only if you use the image as a background and you make all the settings only on settings layer. And as the last step, you have to export it as a color lookup table and you can name it as you want, uh, can uh, adjust the settings and just save it in the directory, in the lat directory of your DaVinci Resolve uh, lat directory in the project settings. And back in DaVinci Resolve, we are ready to uh, finish our steps. And just to show it, here is a dialog in the project settings where you have to make sure that DaVinci Resolve finds and loads your created LUT as well. And now as our final step, we can load our LUT in our last node. Uh, therefore, we have to look where I saved it. Yeah. And boom. But here too, of course, we have the problem that our color contrast is, of course, too big now. The highs and lows are clipping. We could fix it as before, but uh, there's another way. But, and if you look at the false color, you can see we are wide out of the range and our colors are clipping all over the image and we want to fix it the other way we just add a note and i want to show you a better way to adjust uh, and come back to the color range so stay in scopes but by keeping the vibrance in the colors for sure you could increase the saturation uh, too to get to, to to reach the same goal but it's not the same you can try it out and you will see there's totally different effect and our goal is to to adjust the vibrance and stay safe in the scopes and keep the detail and now we want to limit the uh, lower the, the highs and increase the lows uh, just by using the the lock wheels and please keep in mind that our goal is to uh, to keep the good exposure of the shot and as you can see, we are right uh, back on the street here. We can switch off, turn off, before and after, before and after. And if you turn on the false color grade on our last note, you can see we are right in the good uh, exposure, good luminosity and uh, the situation uh, isn't overdone. And just to be sure, uh, let's switch to the luminosity. And here we are very, very uh, high in the orange range. And so just let's uh, decrease the highs a bit more uh, to keep it safe. Adjust it only a little bit. And with this false color plugin, which I highly recommend to to use it, uh, you can control such things very, very great. And voila, before and after, as you can see, the colors are very, very vibrant and I'm satisfied. I hope you enjoyed the little lesson and if you wanna see more tips like this, just let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to leave a like. And if you like the tutorial, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, have a great time, bye.